I'm Bill Davis. This is 10 and 2. Some editors in the past have used a practice of connecting a card or maybe a drive, then simply copying the movie files into their NLE, ignoring the small info or thumbnail files. It can work, but it can also break the flow of metadata, which might prove really useful later. Metadata, by definition, is just data that describes other data. And all modern digital NLE systems use metadata to be more efficient. But it's particularly important in the Final Cut Pro 10 approach because whenever you import files, 10 automatically looks to see if the incoming metadata is in a form it understands. And if it does, 10 does its best to read it into its database system. This preservation of sidecar information throughout the editorial system can provide great benefits in the later stages of production. For example, these DSLR files carry my camera ownership info as camera metadata. When I use video shot with it in my storylines, when it's time to export my projects out to a web service like YouTube or Vimeo, I've seen these metadata ID files travel throughout the entire editorial and post processes all the way to the video distribution sites, helping to brand them as something that I created. So metadata preservation can be very valuable, even if you don't see it in action. In fact, it's not too much to say that inside 10, the entire process of your editing is stored as constantly updated metadata instructions. That's one reason Final Cut Pro 10 seldom loses any of your work, even if there's a power failure or temporary crash. Because every keystroke or mouse action you take creates fresh metadata, which is being written to your project files in real time. So crashes become a lot less risky in Final Cut Pro 10.